all, I have 20 boys and I have 20 girls. I just need to click the add button and then there you go. See the later. Hello there guys! Welcome back to my channel. This is your teacher, Teacher Daryl Del Mundo. And welcome to my fellow educators. Today, I will teach you how to make use of your PowerPoint in your attendance checking. Okay? Just follow the simple instructions and you will use your PowerPoint in a different level. Watch this, guys. I hope you learned something and enjoy. Bye! Welcome back to my channel. This is your teacher, Teacher Daryl Del Mundo. And today, I will teach you how to add and reset using Visual Basic for application. Meaning to say, we will add Add button and Reset button in this topic. I usually use this in my day-to-day -day lesson or sometimes in my demonstration teaching or sometimes in observation. And uh, this is very, very effective when it comes to attendance checking because I don't need to call my secretary to get her or his bulletin and paper or chalk on the way to the blackboard to write it and uh, just, you know, add this and then get the total number of students for today. So using this Visual Basic application, you will be able to check the attendance of your class in front of your room okay so during your discussion or during your class observation or demonstration you can check it directly in your PowerPoint presentation are you ready so I will show you this sample okay so I have here the attendance slide so I have here the text box for boys text box for girls then I have here the label box or the label for total and then I have a command button for add this one and another command button for clear meaning to say you're going to reset it okay so this is what it looks like and this is how it works so for example I have 20 boys and I have 20 girls I just need to click the add button and then there you go see the label it changed already to 40 in meaning to say these two already added up and then to clear the text box for boys and text box for girls just click the clear button and then click the total or the add button rather and then you will see the total there zero okay so another example if I have like uh, 15 boys and I have 30 girls then let's add it up and then there you go 45 so the secretary will report in front that they are happy that all of his or her classmates are present during that day and then clear it and then add it to reset so at this moment thank you very much for watching this sample and next I will teach you how to do the step-by-step -step instruction on how to make your own attendance checking in your PowerPoint presentation via Visual Basic for application. Watch this. So, this is the first step in making your own attendance checking via VBA. First things first, we need to go to the Developer tab. And when you are in the Developer tab, go to the Controls. Here, let us first insert the text box. So this is the text box. It's like you are just inserting a shape, okay? And then that is your text box number one. Copy and then paste. Then here's your text box number two. After that, for the total, let's have the label box. So this is the label. There you go. And for the label, we should edit it in the properties so that the label caption here will become zero. Okay, just type zero and then 
there you go you see the zero over there and then let's align it at the center and let's change the font style and the font size okay there you go so we have now text box number one text box number two and then label control now we will add the command button so the command button is this one it's like a rectangular shape again it's like inserting shapes there you go command button number one copy and then paste then we have command button number two and to edit it again click just one and then go to the properties and then you can edit the caption like we just type add and then this one command button number two let's type clear there you go so this is the first step you need to put all the controls in your slide so that when you do the coding for Visual Basic application, everything is already set up. Okay? So the first thing that we need to do before putting the codes is to know the logic. Okay? So meaning to say, we are not going to put the codes here in text box, not also here in this text box, not also in the label box. Okay? We will add the Visual Basic for Application codes in command button number 1 and command button number 2. Okay? So, are you ready to do the codes? Okay, watch this. So, at this moment, we are now in the window of Microsoft Visual Basic for Application. This is where we are going to type our codes for attendance checking. So we have for command button number one, that's for add button and command button number two for the clear or reset button. So since command button is for the add button, we will do the codes for addition. So remember label number one, that is the total or where the sum of the text box for boys and girls will add up. So label one, that caption, equal sign value of text box one dot text close parenthesis addition sign value of text box two dot text close parenthesis meaning to say we are going to add the value whatever value we input in text box one and text box two Okay, and in command button number two, we are going to type text box one that text equals quotation mark, meaning to say whatever number you input in text box number one, it will go directly to the value of text box number one here so that it will add up in the command or in the label button. Then we have text box dot text equals quotation mark again these are all random numbers these are all for random numbers so whatever numbers you input there it will go to text box number one text box number two and then when you add it up using the add button you will see the total or the sum. I hope you learned something today and do not forget these codes thank you so much and later we will see the final product. Okay, let's run this now. Hey there, welcome back. And today, we will see if our coding is successful or not. <laughs> okay, so let's try. So text box number one, let's put 20. Text box number two, let's put 25. And then wait then 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 <laughs> let's click the add button there you go see it adds up okay so 
to clear the text box number one, text box number two, just click the clear button. Then add to go back to zero. Thank you so much. I hope you learned something today again. And do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Teacher Da, signing off. Bye-bye.